So let's go over the costume die system. So what you'll do is, when you get a dieable costume, uh, I think this is the one I have already... Yeah, that's the... You can see the, the results of uh, last stream, our die combination. I think it's beautiful, personally. Uh, so, But let's go ahead and start fresh with uh, the default settings here. So to go to the costume die interface, you're going to open your uh, character window while you've got a costume equipped. And you're going to equip the costume and then hit this costume die button right here. You're going to click on the costume you want to die, and this is going to show you all of the dies you have unlocked for this costume. So the cool thing about this is, once you use a die on a costume, you unlock it permanently for that costume. So you don't have to use a, a die every single time you want to you know, change your mind. Let's say you decide one day, hey, I want to make my armor green. So you save that, and then the next day you come in and say, well, no, I changed my mind. I want it to be purple. You save that, and then the next day, oh, well, you know what? I want to go back to green. So, boom. You can switch back and forth freely once you've unlocked it. So let's go ahead and experiment with this a little bit. We've got three different settings here. You've got your primary color, which we'll go ahead and set that to... Actually, let's look in here. What do we want to see? Diet red. Okay, let's look at some of the red colors here. So we've got crimson and red. That's our crimson option here. And then that's our red option. I'm thinking crimson's better, personally. So that'll be our primary color. We'll go ahead and save that. And we've got our secondary color, which is currently blue. I'm thinking... Oh, by the way, you can preview dyes that you haven't unlocked yet. If you just want to experiment and see how something might look with different configurations. So let's take a look at black, maybe? I think black looks pretty cool. And then your final color here, this is sort of your trim color. It usually doesn't have a large effect on the costume, but it's still noticeable. So let's take a look at what we have. We've got our red and crimson up here. We could do black. For funsies, let's do pink. That's, that's glorious. Especially the boots. I bet you could sell those boots in a store. That is some high fashion right there. So anyway, that's our costume die system. Let's go ahead and take a look at our fortification system as well. So the first thing you'll need to do before you want to fortify anything is you'll need to get fragments. Uh, the way you'll do this primarily is by salvaging gear. So you're going to click this button right here, and you're going to find a piece of gear that can be salvaged. We'll confirm that, and then, bada boom, you get some more fragments. Then once you have enough fragments, which I've conveniently stocked up on for the purpose of this stream, you'll click on the Equipment Fortification button here. You'll choose Equipment. We've already got a couple of different enhanced ones here, so let's go to a clean one. We'll put the gear in, and then you'll need these fortification scrolls. There's a bunch of different types, but for the purposes of this demo, we'll be showing you the, uh, the blue ones here. But there's weapon and armor scrolls. Weapons for weapons, obviously armor is for armor. So we need 35 fragments, and we have plenty. So let's go ahead and fortify it. And there you go. We have a winner. Now, the best part of this system, which is different from a lot of MMOs that I've played and seen in the past, are that if you do happen to fail a fortification attempt, you're not going to lose your gear. The gear is not going to break, and you're not even going to go down a level. In fact, every attempt that you do will give you something. Even if you fail the uh, fortification, you'll get what are called potential points. 
Let me hop over to a, uh, a high one here. And see the cool little shimmer, shimmer there from the higher effect. So obviously the higher you go, the harder it's going to be to get a successful enchantment on you know a single try. But the best part is, even if you fail, you will get potential points. And once these potential points reach 100, you will automatically gain a level. So even if, you know, for whatever reason you have a bad day, you go in, you're trying to enchant this thing, or to fortify this thing over and over, you're getting a bad run, you're still going to get something out of it when you get to 100. 